Hello. Okay, one of these scenes is blank. I don't know which one. Is that blank? No, that's the GameCom. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? No. Is that blank? Yes! Alright, we're using scene six. Taking that one. Alright, let me get the chat up. Let me get some video up. So, hey, I uh, haven't streamed in a bit. It's been Midterm City over here. But uh, midterms are over now, and there's not really a whole lot to do until I go back home to New Jersey this Wednesday. No assignments, no exams, no papers. So, I guess I'll be streaming. Why not? Nothing else really to do, and that works out just fine for me. Also, uh, room temperature tea. Let me warm this up a bit. So, yeah, it's been like two weeks or so. And in that span of time, I have an idea that I want to test out on stream, which hopefully it should have updated with for the stream title at the moment. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Jimbo Limba Jimbo. And it should be up in the stream title, uh, I think. Also, I forgot to tweet it, so let me go and do that. Oh, well, that's that's the idea. It's, it's oh no, it's not. It. Scene ten. Okay, that's scene nine. That was, I was thinking maybe this should have been a hold on image, at one point. Um, I don't think I ever used it for anything, but it's there in XSplit in case I really need a Final Fantasy X hold on screen. Let me just go and send a tweet out. But the idea is, um, somebody sent me a link to a Pokemon bootleg, which is Pokemon Crystal in Japanese, but translated into English entirely through Bing. And I've had another Pokemon bootleg before for Crystal. It's the Vietnamese Crystal bootleg, which we played in a marathon, like 2010, a couple of times. And there's a ROM of that. There's a ROM of the Bing one, and I'm thinking, all right, let's just take all the ROMs, play them exactly the same time, have them wired up to the same controller input, and then just compare the bootlegs to the official one all with the same buttons. So I'm playing three games at once, two of which are not really legitimate games. It may or may not be fun. I don't know, but it was an idea I had, and I'm going to go and see if that is... Interesting. I'll try that out tonight. Also, thank you for subscribing, O B D N O, O B N D O. Excuse me, Obdo, something like that. I'm bad at names. Let me just go and uh, go away, diarrhea, dad. That's not the Twitter page I want. I mean, it is, but not, not at the moment. All for diarrhea, dad. Although he hasn't tweeted in ages. What was new tweet? Uh, Oregon Trail 2, and then playing a bunch of legitimate bootlegged copies of Pokemon Crystal. Crystal. At once. With the same controller? Nah, whatever. I'll go into more detail about that once Oregon Trail is out of the way. In you go. My tweet was posted. All right. And just get rid of this. Hey, look, it's... Oh, it's Bitcoin.txt. Never mind. I was going to say, it's my tweet. It wasn't. Also, who uses Chrome? I don't. And Chrome has decided my homepage is... Oh, well, it's not showing up now. Chrome has decided it wants my homepage to be this, which looks like Google, except with adverts, which will probably blow your PC up, and results by Bing. And I don't know how to change my homepage to something that's not this, not sweet packs. Um, so if anybody knows how to make my homepage something that isn't garbage, that would be nice. That's a virus. I don't know where this came from, and it's only on Chrome. I have malware. Oh, well. 
I don't know where to adjust homepage settings, because I never use Chrome. I need to uninstall something. So, oh, I was already here, wasn't I? Settings. Uh, show the home button. Oh, that would be it. Got it. That should be it. Okay, that's fine. I didn't know that was a thing. It's a virus, though. Eh, it'll be fine. I don't really use Chrome, so that's... Okay. Now I can finally sign in to Google+. Plus. Uh... No, I'm good. Change the search. I don't really use Chrome for anything, so I'm not too worried about that. It'll keep putting it as my homepage. Well... Just deal with it later. If I feel like, uh, I feel like if I start trying to remove all the malware on this, it'll just yell at me, and then it will be a case of, uh, oh no, now nothing works, and I don't even have a stream up. So let me go and get games up, and I'll deal with it later. I am streaming again. Yeah, obviously, I download all of the bootlegs. I probably shouldn't have been surprised that there is some malware on this computer. Uh, setup 32. No. I need the game. Data. That one. This one. And then it goes blank. There we go. What is the mech tour? I have no idea. Oh. Is that what it does? I just open a bunch of these. Gotta buy all the mech products. Oh jeez, that's it's a lot of windows. Oh no, they're not showing up. <laughs> Captured layer windows. Come on. Anyone need, or anyone need a copy of the Oregon Trail 2? I've got a few to spare, I think. Although, I don't know which one's the real one. Uh... Somewhere. The game is... Maybe... Under here. Uh, there it is! That's the game. Perfect! Just leave it like that. Right, turn that off, because it breaks everything. Uh... How do I close all these? There we go. Okay. Yeah, multi-box Oregon Trail 2, if only. It doesn't run if it's not the active window. It also gets all limey and gross. So, oops. There you go. Can't multi-box Oregon Trail 2. I'd have to keep clicking back and forth. It would drive me insane. And I also need the Oregon Chat. There we go. You were playing Red Dead Redemption, and Nigel West Dixon said Thunderation. It's catching on. It's the new thing. Chat colors only. There we go. Get another computer. I don't have the money for that. Maybe one day. Somebody just get me a studio and a bunch of computers, and... I will make Oregon Trail, or, uh, Oregon Trail streams, the likes of which the world has never known. Who am I kidding? It'd probably be exactly the same. Maybe I'd update the text to be Comic Sans or something. I'll have one running in Papyrus, one in Comic Sans, and the other one in Wingdings. Uh, that. There we go. Capture their windows. Okay, chat's up. Uh, my copy of this has got bits of windows in it for whatever reason. The Windows 7 trail. Yep, that's that's perfect. That's exactly how I want that game to look. And then this. If that fits. Sort of. Yeah, it's close enough. Just center it up a bit. Alright. Okay. 
Also, uh, let me know if the stream goes bad. I was testing some stuff out earlier, and it kept dropping a bunch of frames, like thousands upon thousands of frames. And I don't know if that's been resolved or not. I haven't dropped any yet, but I've only been streaming for maybe 10 minutes, so I'd hope not. But if anything goes terribly wrong, let me know. Also, I increased the audio bitrate to a whopping 160 kilobits per second, up from 128. So now the microphone sounds better than ever. It's probably not even noticeable, but I like bigger numbers, so let's go with that. And I think there's now going to be part of my recycle bin and aim icon in the game until... Hmm. How do I make that go away? Also, thank you for subscribing, me Seek. Let me get the Oregon randomizer up first. We'll figure out what we're doing. Ah, there it is. Close that. So, I haven't streamed in a bit. It's been all midtermy recently. Oh, jeez. It's been all midtermy recently. But I'm done for now. The only exams I've got. Uh, up on the horizon are finals. So I've got a bit of time until those, so I'm probably going to stream a bunch this weekend. Hopefully. As long as my computer doesn't give out and it doesn't seem very happy at the moment. There we go. That's sort of... That yeah, mostly fits. Okay, fine. Alright, so, got the Oregon Trail up. And as always, we've got the randomizer, and my computer fan kicking it into high gear. Where's Pokemon? Uh, you'll see. It'll be after this. I've already got a preliminary thing set up to help me remember how ever No, that's not it. Help me remember how everything fits together. You'll see how it works once I put all the games there. I hope. I hope it all makes sense. But we'll get there after a round of the Oregon Trail. Maybe two. Probably not three. Would be sort of sick and tired of killing everyone by the third round, I think. Okay, so, according to the randomizer, we are an adventurer, formerly a blacksmith, who in March 1853 set out from Nauvoo to start new life in Jacksonville, Oregon. I thought that was in Florida. I guess there's another one. With blacksmithing skills, $1,400 cash, and a Conestoga wagon worth $100. It's the biggest one. And we're accompanied by five others, including Team Red, Team Blue, Team Green, Team Pink, and Team Subs, with ages of 30, 11, 10, 11, and 10, respectively. So it's two adults and a bunch of children here on the Oregon Trail. It's important to help repopulate Oregon once we make it there. Can't imagine too many people live there, given that most of them probably gave up the ghost on the way there. Who's the daddy? I guess that's Team Red. Maybe it's me. Maybe we're both the dad. Or the mom. Or just like hermaphrodites and we split off children. Binary fission. Wagon train is small. Ten hours a day. Bare bones meals. You know, that's what growing kids need. No food. Am I sure I'm an adult? That's what they tell me. I don't know. I don't quite believe it myself. Had to run around today to get um, a whole bunch of paperwork processed for getting a visa for my study abroad program. And... I sort of felt like an adult, and then I had issues navigating the Washington, D.C. metro. And then I sort of felt like a ten-year-old again. I thought I was on the, uh, the line back to college, and then I realized, wait, why am I at the Civil War Museum? That's not where I go to school. And it's not even that hard to navigate. It's like, alright, go this train if you want to go left, and go this train if you want to go right, and pick the one you want. But apparently that's still a little too complicated. To be fair, I'm not a college graduate yet. 
Maybe once I get my degree, everything will change and I'll be an upstanding, respectable citizen. Anyway, new game. Trail Journal of Temple. Temple, Theodora, and Solomon. And Reuben. Very fancy names. Trail Journal of Tim, an adventurer, formerly a blacksmith, who on March 1853 set out from Nauvoo to Jacksonville, Oregon with blacksmithing skills, a Conestoga wagon, and five other people, including Team Red, Team Maria, Team Sharks, Team Jets, Team Green, oops, Team Pink, and Team Subs. Did I ever plan on studying abroad? I didn't think I'd have all my requirements done to ever have the opportunity. But... Might as well. Why not... Stream in London for a bit. Maybe get a British accent. Or a really bad British accent and just offend everyone there. Okay, so... Remember this number. 5,000 pounds. Don't make me buy more than 5,000 pounds of potatoes or else the wagon's not gonna move. I think every single time we've done this, I have bought too much food. So, make sure we don't do that again. If I start buying too much stuff, just feel free to yell at me. Gotta get the wagon moving somehow. 5,000 pounds of grandfather clocks. Might as well. We'll see if it even works. Anyway, I've already got a wagon, so we need other supplies. So, let's ignore the person who wants to sell us a package. Of supplies based on the size no! I got this. Step one, grandfather clock. Step two. There wasn't a step two. Wait, do you sell grandfather clocks? No, you're the medicine place. You're the pharmacy, I guess you wouldn't have them. Uh, clothing, shoes, and grandfather clocks. No. But his Smith and Sons. There we go. One grandfather clock. Alright. Well, that has been the Oregon Trail. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next month for the uh, next stream I get the time to do. Or a chance to do, excuse me. Now I gotta go buy some food. Food, 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 where is that food? Already forgotten. Gunsmith, stables, drugstore. Wait, what is that guy's name? Fest drunk. Yeah, that seems like a doctor I'd trust. Old Dr. Fest drunk. Alright, let's get some food. It's only 21 pounds of bacon in this whole city. This whole godforsaken place. 21 pounds of bacon. Alright, what seems like good food? Anything? All the food, bacon and cheese. Yeah, that's a healthy diet, why not? 30 pounds of cheese. I've bought all of their cheese. All of their candy. This guy doesn't really have anything. 150 pounds of biscuits? You know, I'm wondering if I could just buy everything he owns. Oh, well, maybe not 81 sacks of cornmeal, because that is 8,000 pounds of cornmeal. Or, excuse me, <laughs> wait, no, no, that's, that's 800 pounds, I mean to say. You could tell who got a D in Calculus 2. It was me. Dried beans. That's the one I meant. 15. 150 pounds of beans. Dried bread. Let's feed some ducks on the way there, keep morale up. Yes, bare bones meals. Haven't forgotten yet. Dried fruit. Oh, he's run out. Pounds of ham. Pounds of lard. Five pounds slab of lard. Maybe we can sit on it and go down sledding a hill. Maple syrup? Fine. Do we even have 
supplies to make pancakes? Alright, how about... Let's get some cornmeal. And some extra dried beans, and you put them together, maybe, and get pancakes. Probably works that way. Sacks of potatoes, 100 pounds. Are there ramen noodles? I don't think so. It's not like the undergrad trail or anything. Eh, get some of this, some salt pork, some tea. I don't think Nauvoo has coffee. Anywhere. What am I going to do with 30 pounds of vinegar? When somebody gets sick, you give them a tablespoon. What do you do with the other 29.999 pounds of it? I'd eh, get a yeast cake. <laughs> Throw it out. Drown them with it. They don't have coffee here. I already got a grandfather clock. Animals. Sure, I guess he sells them. What else does he sell? A table? Why not? Fine. Medicine, alright. Borax. What is borax? I thought it was a sink cleaning chemical or something. Why would you drink that? Oh, hang on. Let's find out. Borax. It is... Borax, also known as sodium borax, sodium tetra borax, or dioxide borax, is an important borax compound, a metal salt and boron acid. What do you do with it? Putty. Food additive. Great. We can use it in caviar. Also, in Chinese, it's peng sha, so they say. I will take their word for it. And also, if you eat too much, you get liver cancer. All right, let's stock up. Chamomile. All right, castor oil. I don't know what you use that for. Epsom salts. Sure. Where's the normal salt? Now that I think about it, I haven't found that yet. How do we rub salt on the wounds if we don't get salt? One box of James Fever Powder. It's the only box ever made. Now I'm buying it. Well, let's buy some whiskey and turpentine. I rubbed the grandfather clock on it. Normal salt is in food. Not here. Unless I rub salt pork on the wound. Which I don't think is quite as effective, although equally dumb. What else? Now I'll buy a spare wagon bit. No, I won't. Spices? Yes! 400 pounds of salt might be too much. Maybe 50. It is me. I had midterms all last week. And I am reasonably certain I didn't do very well in my bioinformatics exam. But, oh well. Worrying about it doesn't change the result, so I might as well buy all the cinnamon I can get and forget about it. Drown my sorrows in 8-ounce jars of horseradish, and nutmeg, and pepper, and sugar. Oh, it might be too much. 250 pounds of sugar. Let's see. Rosemary. And... Well... There's not really a whole hell of a lot of food in Nauvoo. It's all... kind of the same stuff. You gotta get high on nutmeg, that's why I'm buying all of it, clearly. Let's see, what else can we get? Canteen, fine. A Dutch oven, sure. Fishing pole, eh. A frying pan. A hammer. A hatchet. A hunting knife. Let's just battle or just battle out in the wagon. Everything, all of our struggles. Just give someone a frying pan, a hammer, a hatchet. Whoever lo or uh, whoever wins at the end gets to be the wagon leader. Well, let's get some rope, some saws, some shovels to bury the bodies. 
a washboard, tin cups, a skillet, which is apparently different from a uh, frying pan. Don't ask me how. Can't really do a whole lot of cooking unless it involves a microwave. Eating utensils. Nah, eat with their hands. Perfect. Is it 5,000 pounds yet? No. We've got uh, 2,000 pounds left to potentially load up with. I already bought medicine. Although I didn't buy this medicine. Let's get some ammonia. As if the wagon doesn't smell bad enough already. Let's get some more brandy. Let's get some more cloves. Let's get some more camp for let's just buy everything let's just be a rolling pharmacy get some dandelion ruin everyone's lawns as we go to Oregon Duffy's elixir Ipecac hydrogen peroxide grease hundred pounds of grease laudanum lechithin lechithin this I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a thing you see in writing, but never a thing you hear people say. Let's see what else. Uh, yeah, let's get some sage, some quinine, some peppermint, make some homemade toothbrush or toothpaste. Buy some oranges afterwards. Get that great toothpaste, orange juice aftertaste. Eh, we don't need soap. One soap. Some spearmint, some thermometers, some tobacco, some whiskey. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's everything. That's enough. You know, I don't think we're gonna go over the weight limit. I've got another 1,500 pounds to potentially get, and I don't know what to spend it on. Uh,. Clo oh, clothing, yeah, that's a good point. Forgot about that. Hmm. Well, what do you guys want to wear? Where is Nauvoo? Let's find out. Hi ho, Google Maps. I think it's in Illinois, apparently. It's right here. I am actually right on Mulholland Street as we speak. See? That's me. You know, is that building in this game? Is that... Hang on. Oh, that's that. I think. It looks like it. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like it's actually almost educational. Right now, I am standing on 50 Wells Street. And this is our wagon. This minivan thing. See, this is only for oxen passenger loading and unloading. Now you know. Well, Nauvoo. It's a place. The game didn't just make that up. Who wants to wear some blouses, and bonnets, and boots, and just normal cloth, because we don't like you enough to get you real clothing, and dresses, and hats, it's just going to be a cross-dressing extravaganza here. Long underwear, short underwear, that's yarn, close enough. Mittens, pants, no, no pants. Petticoats, shirts, shoes, skirts, socks, scarves. I forgot buying scarves. That one. Umbrellas. That's not even clothing. $360. Alright. That's a lot of money. Not a whole lot of weight, though. Tacom8 says, I find Muslim cloth to be soothing against my skin. I wish to drape myself in it. Yeah, we'll just get you, like, a shower curtain, and you can just sort of wear that. It'll just be a perpetual toga party. Ain't this exciting? Not really. I gotta get a gun. Then we could talk about being excited. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, rifle or shotgun? Don't get the shotgun, it's not very good. Buy another clock. If I've got the money for it, do not buy a shite- or shite gun? Shotgun, excuse me. Let's get two rifles. One for each arm. Double the odds of me shooting myself in the face. 100 bullets, I don't know. 100 pounds of gunpowder. And a pistol. Sure. And now we need some animals, which I forgot to get. There we go. You're an animal. Let's buy you. Oh wait, I could buy another wagon? Why would I want to do that? Is that a thing? Just buy multiple wagons? I kind of want to see what happens, but I don't know why you would do that. Can I just put even more crap on the second wagon? I don't know. Let me see how much money I have after I buy the animals. Twelve oxen. And... Well, I've got food. I've got a gun. I've got clothing, oxen... I think that's it. Medicine? I got all that. Well, I guess, I guess we could buy another wagon? Sure. Now I have two. Oh wait, is that going to be in my weight limit? Oh no. <laughs> I bought a second wagon, now we're overweight. I put a wagon on top of the wagon. It's a little too much, I think. Whoops. Is it gonna let us go anyway? I'm I'm curious, is it gonna work? Yeah, it didn't it didn't add it didn't increase the weight limit, but it put another thousand pounds on top of the wagon itself. <laughs> Dump the kids. Well you we could be on wagon train one, which has a bunch of people, train two, which is virtually no one. Train 3, which is sort of in the middle. 2, 2, 2, 2. Alright, well, we've got two wagons. And I guess it moves. Somehow. That's really weird. We're way overweight. We've got one grandfather clock. And two wagons. Just piled up. Sure. I guess that works. I'm just carrying it on my back, that's how it works. It's frozen! Surely it will support two wagons. <laughs> I've been elected captain for my brilliant, de brilliant decision of stacking the wagons on top of each other. See, two of these are mine. That's how it works. Oh. Extreme cold. You see, when I bought the second wagon, I couldn't afford to put heat in the first one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now Team Blue is a sprained knee. I guess for carrying the wagon. Also, thank you for subscribing, Artea LOL. Artea Ol. Arte Lol. I still don't know how to pronounce your name. Do we want to soak it in warm Epsom salt water, apply alcohol to the sprain, or exercise the affected joint? Okay, do you want to put him in a splint, give it a soak, get the sprain drunk, or move the sprain around a lot, which seems like an awful idea? Apply grandfather clock. I think Epsom salt is probably the right answer. It never said we made an Epsom salt solution, though, so maybe I'm just rubbing rock salt up all on the sprain. I'm sure that'll help. Just heat up some salt and dump it on him. I'm a doctor, oops. Well, I broke the wheel. 
or not. That was easy enough. You know, when you have two wagons, I guess you can just keep switching the parts around on them. Eh, yeah, what's here? You can melt salt if you get it hot enough. I think. Let's see... No, they don't have any animals. Nor grandfather clocks. Hmm... No furniture? I don't really want any of this. Uh... Well, I guess we can get some more brandy. And a pickaxe. And a guitar! And a kettle! Get some more rope! And I think that's about it. Sadly, there is no coffee at Nauvoo. Which means it's a terrible place. We don't need another wagon wheel. The broken one fixed itself. Oops. Okay, well we might need a wagon axle. Or not. No, that works too. Team Pink has frostbite. <laughs> yeah, rub it with snow. I'm still amazed that's an option. The way to treat frostbite is to warm the affected areas gradually. Alright. Don't do it too quickly, or you'll do more harm than good. Do you ever blink? I don't really trust medical advice from a vampire. Well, if people would dress more warmly and keep dry, they wouldn't be so likely to get frostbit. Victim blaming. Look, I'm sorry not everyone can wear a fox on their head to stay warm, alright? I suppose we should stop for a while, so that those folks can get warm. Well, if... I suppose... No one advocates rubbing snow on it. Yeah, get the flamethrower out. Let's see. Everyone's in good health? Except Pink, who's got hardened skin, numbness, sharp, prickling sensation on the skin, and they're feeling kind of fair. They're just turning into a rock, I guess. Oh, I thought that said the Noodle Way River. I was gonna say that was an excellent name. Not a way. It's not quite as exciting. Team Subs is a bad cold. Do we want to increase fluid intake, administer vinegar, administer olive oil, or get advice? Tarnation, we can't let a few coughs and sniffles slow us down. All right, Grandpa. But the only thing you can do for a bad cold mm. is get lots of rest and drink lots of fluids. Olive oil's a fluid. Tarnation, we. Tarnation. I think we ought to stop for a couple of days. Do you when want fluids or olive oil? Out, they tend to get sick like this. Hmm. <laughs> Stare at the grandfather clocks. Iron blood says oil them. All right. Extreme cold. Cold oil. <laughs> you rub snow on the cold. Indian town. Sure. Wait, what is this? Is it just a bunch of garbage? You want to trade? I have cornmeal and other types of food. It's been on the ground and it looks like junk. Sure, tell me more. My name is Naomi. All right. I'm of the Muscutin clan of the Potawatomi. Please tell me about Fox Dye. I've seen many of your people moving westward on this road. All right. About 50 miles from here is a large town, bigger than this one. Uh, if we don't have what you need here, maybe you can find it there. Sure. Would you like to trade? I'm looking for a grandfather clock. No, just some Indian shoes, pot, and oxen. Eh, she only wants gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, she seems really depressed. It's true. I am Joseph Maskutin of the Fire Nation. Welcome to our home. Tell me more. The Fire Nation is often known as the Potawatomi. I've never we heard of many them. Bands. Our like the Beatles. Our lived in a place now called Michigan. We now live in Iowa and Kansas. Do you have any advice? Like many in my village, I'm a trader. I have food, 
furs and many goods you made blanket. by both Indians and white folks. If you like, we can trade. Who are you calling a white folk? It's Caucasian to you, sir. Well, he's got salt. Oh man, a mirror? I thought you traded Indian... Or I thought you traded mirrors to Indians, not the other way around. Well, I'll take it. A bottle of brandy for a mirror. Fine. It's sort of contributing to his crushing alcoholism, but it seems like a good trade to me. He doesn't like the mirror, oh. He can't handle reality. Team Green is freezing. Are they? They're feeling good. Fatigue, severe generalized frostbite, and weakness. They're still in good health. Team Subs still got a cold. Everyone else is good. I don't know. You're not really making a very good case for why I should stop for Team Green. If they're still feeling good. Rub snow on them. Feed patient warm food. Here's a hot dog from 1850. Get better. Canesville. Hey. Let's be on our way. But no. Excuse me, friend. I want to see stuff. You appear to be making ready to head out west. Do you know of any people who are still in the process of forming a wagon train? Maybe. My husband and I. He's off buying supplies. Your husband is dead. I'm looking for a nice group of people to join in our move west. Oh, is that so? So long. Out of here. Oh, wow, a surgeon. Oh, wow. A surgeon. I don't think I can go in here. I've been told you're looking for a doctor. Not really? Yes. I'll do the best I can. Mind you, I don't have access to <laughs> all the modern equipment and medicines like the Dude, his mouth is crazy. Holy hell. Look at this. Just just look at the bottom half of his face. I'll do the best I can. Mind you, I don't have access to all the modern equipment and medicines like the physician. I don't think vaccines. noses move that much. Fairly sure. Let's see. Does he fix you? If you see any plants with reddish leaves, don't yeah. eat them or drink the water nearby. I, I wasn't going Those to. Those red leaves are a good sign of alkali. Don't eat stuff you find on the ground. Thanks. Is everyone in better health? Oh, thanks, Doc. We're all still dying. Should have eaten the red leaves. <laughs> I gotta get the surgeon DLC. I've been told you're looking for a doctor. I'll do the best I can. Mind you, you didn't do I anything though. Access to all the modern oh, forget it. I'm out of here. I've been told you. No. Wait. There's a spittoon sound. Great. Doctor, I can't stop spitting. Uh, anything else to click? Oh, guess not. Jeez, I feel like I have to check and see if I can click everything in this at this point. I never knew you could do that. That's a great sound. Uh, what else can we buy? Hello. Hello. The bugle, I think. Washington separated. No, Washington territory. Excuse me. Separated from Oregon. Sure, I'll take your word for it. Hello. What do you think about the news? Howdy. Me too. That's not a place. Oh man, the West Best Wagon. Can I buy another one? Oh no, I can't go in there. I wanted to buy a third wagon. Teagle's Drugstore. It's Teagle. It's an automatic or automated subscribe to this channel ad. I people have been mentioning that. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't change the settings around to make it appear, so. I haven't even seen it though, so I don't really know what it looks like. 
All this guy sells is just thermometers. Hmm. Yeah, get all the brandy. 14 more bottles, please. Doctor's orders. Well, that's all I need at Canesville. Oh. Is everyone still sick? Oh no, no me. Let's see. River's frozen. Is it even possible to fall through the frozen river? I don't think that's ever happened. Who's around the abandoned buildings? Time is a wasting. Let's get out. All right. Let's check them. You found a spare wagon tongue, three pairs of shoes, and a lantern. I got all excited. I thought this said, you found one spare wagon. I was going to say, oh great, now I got three. But no. Spare wagon tongue. Someone died in those shoes. Anyway, we don't have any meats. Let's go hunting. Let's see. Something that isn't a duck. Perfect. That's all the food we need. One rabbit. Hmm. With this game, sometimes it seems like you need to randomly shoot in the distance and then animals come out, but not always. It's kind of finicky about what you can hunt. Hmm. I got two squirrels and a rabbit. That's sort of a meal. And a duck. Another duck. This one doesn't have any friends. Oh. Missed. Uh, well, I guess that's all the food there is. I guess... It's because it's winter. Nothing lives in this very pixelated background. Team Red is a bad cold. They're allergic to my hunting. So Team Red's got a cold, Team Blue is fine, Team Green is still sort of frostbitten. Pink's okay, Subs also has a cold. Make a soup from the rabbit parts. That sounds like fluid intake to me. Team Green is frostbite. I already knew that. Gradually warm it. Put them in the oven. Set it to maybe a nice low 250 degrees. Team Subs has a sprained ankle. And a cold. Coughing fever, headaches, runny nose, sneezing, sore throat, and a swollen, painful joint. That reminds me when I would be in elementary school and I'd go to the school nurse and they'd ask you, you know, what's wrong, and I would just rattle off every single thing. I have a headache, and this part of my leg hurts, and my ear hurts, and my finger hurts, and I just want to go home. That's you right now, Team Subs. Oh wait, you don't have a cold anymore. Now you just have a swollen, painful joint. Well, that's better than nothing. And I guess Team Green's frostbite's gone too. Pawnee Village. Howdy. I don't think Native American said that. Howdy. 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 Do you want to trade? Sure. I am Pawnee. All right. My name is Tall Rain Cloud. That's that's a name. I have dried meat and two horses. Can I say howdy? No. Tell me more about dried meat. What more is there to tell? Now is a good time for trading. Look, you have no idea how interested I am in dried meat. All right. Beware of our enemies, the Sioux. Hmm. They are not your friends, as we are. I trust any man with that but haircut. If you don't want to trade, perhaps you're not our friends either. Would you like to trade? Yeah, my son is short, Raincloud. 
I have dried horses and two meats. Let's see, I don't want bacon. Mirrors, shoes, winter coats. I have dried meat and two horses. Can I take- wait, no, you have three horses! Oh, you lied to me! God, I can't trust anyone in this game. I will trade you a horse for 15 winter coats? What's that in bitcoins? Wait, I thought you would trade a horse a minute ago. I don't want to. Now fine, I'll just get some meat. 75 pounds of meat for two oxen is not a good deal. Two coats, 14 dresses. Sure, they look great on you. A rifle. Nah, I'll just go hunting. Who's around here? Oh, it's you. We should continue on our journey. He is absolutely massive compared to everything else in this village. Are the Native Americans here like three feet tall or what? This is a good opportunity for trading. Good opportunity for exciting voice acting. No meat. Oh. I could shoot these people and then I get meat. Especially this one. It's like 250 pounds. Oh wait, no, I meant to... Oh. I wanted to approach them. I wanted to get into an angry Oregon bar brawl, but they didn't let me. Hit the wrong button. Screwed that up. Next time. Next time we'll confront the strangers. Don't worry. All I need is food. Oh, there's a thing there. There's too much foreground in the American West. I can't see anything. Oh. Damn it. I gotta say, in this game, the animals move really jerkily. Compared to, uh... The older version I would play. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. There we go. I got all three of these walking brown meat things. 135 pounds of game. Three and one half feet. You know, we could actually take the ferry this time. Somehow we've got $221. How do you shoot yourself in this game? I think it's random. And I think your odds go down if you buy a holster for the gun. Mormon Island. Are you a Mormon? I think we ought to keep going. No. Anyone? Let's keep going. No one wants to visit Mormon Island? Nobody? Time is a wasting. Let's get out. Well, I guess we're not going. Oh no. Team Pink has been bitten by a rattlesnake. Use the suction method. Hold on, Pink. I'm gonna suck the poison out. I tell you, if I got bit by a snake, I'd sure want to see a doctor. Yeah, and I'd love a million bucks, but we're out in the middle of nowhere right now. If you go messing around where there's a lot of snakes, yeah. you're liable to get bit. Alright. Serves him right. <laughs> oh, thanks. My cousin, Dr. Brogan Cavanaugh, sells snake bite medicine. I wonder if I got any. You probably don't. I know what to do for a snake bite. All right. Apply a tourniquet, lacerate the wound, and right. suck out the venom. And keep the patient still and calm. You hear this, Pink? Don't move. I need to get the suction method. <laughs> Did that work? Are you fixed? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Disorientation, dryness of the mouth, Nausea and vomiting, pain, slurred speech, swelling, and internal bleeding. Well, that seems great. Might as well start digging the grave now. What's the guide say about snake bite? Whatever you do, don't use the suction method. 
Uh, snake bite, snake bite. Under S for snake bite. Under. No, it's not even here. Well, that's great. I'm going to treat snake bite as if it were. Oh, jeez, I don't even know. What good is the trail guide if it's not even here? Hmm. Nope. Guess I gotta follow my gut for snake bite then. The suction method sounds more like a birth control method than something for treating snake bite. Hey, you never know, it's a. It's a versatile practice. No, snake bite's not really a disease, but. It's sort of in that same vein. Sucking out the venom is only good if I know how. What if I like the taste? 